today, Mother Church celebrates the feast of the baptism of our Lord Jesus Christ. And this feast of the baptism of our Lord Jesus Christ opens or begins the public ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is the beginning of the public ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ. And it was very common among the Jews that whoever was a student undergoing a certain training was commissioned at the age of 30. At the age of 30, anyone undergoing any instructions was commissioned by the elders of the community to become the master and to teach. And they can go and teach publicly. Jesus Christ is at the age of 30 and is commissioned to go and preach publicly not by the elders of the community but by God himself. That was the difference between those who were commissioned by the elders and Jesus Christ was commissioned by God himself as we have witnessed in the gospel of today. God himself says, this is my beloved child, listen to him. I am well pleased in him. And so, we note that is the difference between Jesus Christ and those who did public ministry is that Jesus Christ was commissioned by God. And this is why from today onwards, as you listen to different scriptural passages about Jesus Christ, the elders of the community will be asking, where did you get this authority? Mm -hmm. They don't know. Because they did not commission Jesus Christ. Hence they are doubting. They will be doubting as we listen to other scriptural passages. They will be saying, where did this son of the carpenter get the power to preach publicly? Because we, as the elders of the community, did not commission him. Who commissioned him? So Jesus Christ begins his public ministry commissioned by God himself. The other question that we have today is that why was Jesus Christ baptized who had no sin? Among the Jews and the elders, the elders that I've been talking about, these elders, they knew it all. And they refused to be baptized by John the Baptist because they claimed they had no sins. And they said, no, 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 we cannot be baptized by John the Baptist because we don't have any sins. And they pointed to others as sinners. And those who were thought to be sinners in the community, they did not go into the synagogue to pray with others because they were sinners. They were condemned. And when Jesus Christ comes, he reduces himself to the point of being baptized by John the Baptist because he wants to be in solidarity with the fallen humanity. That is the reason why, one of the reasons why. Jesus Christ accepts to be baptized by John the Baptist because he wants to be in solidarity with the fallen humanity, those who are despised in the community. And he does not come to condemn those who are sinners. He wants to be part and parcel of them so that he can restore them to original innocence from which our forefathers deserted. And that is the reason why. And Jesus Christ, as we heard in the first reading of today, the reading from Isaiah, he comes to establish justice. And we are told by Isaiah that this son who is coming is not coming to condemn anyone. He is not coming to, to condemn anyone 
and we are told in the first reading that the reed that is broken, he will not finish it completely. He has to make it stand so that it grows again. And Jesus Christ, oh, that simply means Jesus Christ does not come to condemn, did not come to condemn those who are sinners, but to side with them, to be with them so that he can restore them to that original innocence. That is the first thing. So Jesus Christ does not condemn us. Though we may be sinners, Jesus Christ does not condemn us. It was the elders of the Jews that were condemning the sinners, but Jesus Christ comes to us as a friend. Jesus Christ comes to us as a brother. Jesus Christ comes to us with a fatherly love, motherly love, to embrace us again, even though we are sinners. That is Jesus Christ. The second point, why Jesus Christ got baptized, is that this baptism of Jesus Christ begins Jesus' recreation. Because with the first Adam, there was disobedience and we, as human beings, distant ourselves from God himself. But with Jesus Christ comes recreation. And the same Holy Spirit that descended on the waters at the time of creation is the same Holy Spirit that has descended on Jesus Christ at his baptism because Jesus Christ begins recreation again. We were lost with the first Adam and Jesus Christ comes as the second Adam to recreate us. And Jesus Christ is making things anew again. That is why we are to be baptized. To be recreated is to be baptized in the waters of Jesus Christ. Because when Jesus Christ descended in the water and came out, he blessed the water and empowered the water so that you and I can be baptized in the same water like Jesus Christ and become new again, become recreated again. That is what is supposed to happen. We are supposed to be baptized so that we are recreated again and we are back into original innocence in which we are created at the very beginning. And that is why Jesus Christ comes to us and reduces himself to be baptized. Today, we remember also, or we are invited to reflect on our baptism promises. Because when we got baptized, the time that we became Christians, when we got baptized, the same words that are used on Jesus Christ are the same words that were used on us when we got baptized. This is my son, this is my daughter, in whom I am well pleased. That was God saying that at the time when we got baptized, when we became Christians. The same words are said silently by God himself. That this is my daughter, this is my son, in whom I am well pleased. Now, the question that we are supposed to ask ourselves is, after all the life that we have lived since we got baptized, can God still say, this is my son in whom I am well pleased. Can still God say that? After the life that we have lived since we got baptized. Or God will say it in the past tense. This is my son in whom I was well pleased. Which one? That is the question that we are supposed to ask ourselves. Can still God say, this is my son, since his baptism, since he became Christian, since she became a Christian, I'm still well pleased in her. I'm still well pleased in him. Can still God say that? Sometimes we have strayed away from the love of God due to our life that we have led since our baptism. 
Sometimes we have not lived up to our baptism promises. We have strayed away because of the life that we have led. And because of that, we have closed the heaven from ourselves. That is what it means. When God, when Jesus Christ God baptized, the heaven opens. So that that relationship which was there at the time of creation can be reestablished again. But sometimes because of our sins, we close that relationship with God. We are cut off from God. Because when we are into sin, we are no longer in good relationship with God. How do we then reconnect back to God? How do we reconnect back to God? When Jesus Christ left, he did not leave us without anything. Jesus Christ left us with the sacraments. And we have the sacrament of reconciliation, the sacrament of confession, the sacrament of the Eucharist. These sacraments are there to reconnect us back to God when we have distanced ourselves from God. And the question again comes, if we have been disconnected with God, if we have disconnected ourselves due to our sins from God, have we made an effort to go back to God through the sacrament of confession? Have we made an effort to go back to God, to reconnect back to God through the sacrament of reconciliation? Because denying or running away from the sacrament of confession is running away from a reunion with God. If we cannot be reunited through the sacrament of confession, we cannot be reunited with God again after we have abandoned him through our sins. So the question is, how do we value the sacrament of confession and the sacrament of the Eucharist in which we stay with God and with Jesus Christ himself? And that is our prayer today. As we continue, sometimes we stay away from the baptism promises that we made. We are disconnected from God and heaven, we close heaven from our, for ourselves when we are in two sin. But the church teaches us that we have to reconnect back to God through the sacrament of confession, through the Eucharist and other sacraments that Jesus Christ left, the, left with us. And this is our prayer today that we may value these sacraments, especially the sacrament of confession in which we are reunited again with God we are connected to God. Let us pray for the inspiration of the Holy Spirit that burns like fire so that it can burn with us like fire so that we, each and every time, we are willing to reconnect back to God.